I don't think that he was really happy teaching too much. He had to do it for his survival. Once again, who was happy and who is happy? What is happiness? For me, happiness is freedom. It is the ability to be satisfied and happy whether you get something you want to get or whether you don't get it. For example, I want something. If I get it, I'm happy. If I don't get it, I'm also happy. This is freedom and independence. But of course, when he was composing, he was uh, in a different world, in a different dimension, and then he was really happy. I wish more young people today uh, listen to Chopin, you know, all these young people who listen only to pop music and, and rap and all these things. They don't know about the quality and the easiness in understanding. It's not difficult to understand Chopin. It's interesting to play on a good historical instrument, but personally, I think that we are spoiled by the great quality of some modern pianos. I requested uh, to play on Yamaha tonight um, because I just love the action and the colors I can get from a Yamaha piano. Uh, sometimes I also can get something different from a very good Steinway. I have a Steinway at home, a concert run. There is also the Steingreber, which is a wonderful piano. Um, and if I play Yamaha, it's because I wanted. I am not a Yamaha artist. I don't receive money from Yamaha. I am not Steinway artist. I am totally independent. I always do what I want. And I found out recently that Yamaha has improved so much their pianos that when you have a great one, and when it is very well maintained, why should I go and look for concerts on a 19th century piano? The 19th century pianos uh, are not always good, and when they are very, very good, uh, they, they are worth to play, they are worth to record. Uh, however, the majority of my concerts and recordings, I want them on a modern piano because they really have improved a lot in the 20th century. I think Chopin is first of all universal. Secondly, he is of course Polish. I mean, almost 60 mazurkas means something. And. Uh, He's, he's just above. <laughs> he's just above anything else and anybody else. I mean, French influence, what means French influence? Of course, Paris was the cultural center in the world. Uh, salon music, uh, I mean, even the, the vals of Chopin are deep music, even if he does. This is. It's so much better than all these third category salon music, which used to be composed in the 19th century in the salon. I think art in general and music in particular are absolutely necessary in this crazy world because it is a really crazy world. Everybody has craziness at various degrees, upset, and there is a big difference now with before 60 years ago, because before 60 years ago, we were fighting each other with swords or pistols, but now we have the nuclear bomb. And if one of those crazy people push the button, it's finished. 
So music is very important because during the two hours of the concert, if the artist, the musician communicates very intensively the music to the audience, they will feel it. If they get bored, it's my mistake. And if they get it, and then if we succeeded all together to uh, get at a higher spiritual level and forget our daily upsets and problems, then it's like a medical doctor who is injecting and producting the organism to relieve the organism from whatever needs to be relieved and make it feel better. So the, the artist in general and the musician in particular have the responsibility of communicating beauty with a big B, warmth, and contributing to make people forget their daily upsets and uh, altogether get a higher spiritual levels. This is why communication is the most important aspect in music.